flammable maps, Michael here. No, no, I'm not. I'm not resource Michael, but I just want to do this introduction. <sighs> I'm sorry for this bad start. So a friend of mine linked me on this bad mathematical meme site on Facebook on this integral right here because he thought, oh my god, so many exponential functions. It's supposed to be hard, but it's not. It's, it's extremely easy. So here Jan Möhring, he's a friend of mine, a fellow mathematician from my university. I'm going to solve this for you in this quick little video. And to celebrate you appearing on my channel somehow, I'm going to post a video of your rabbits in the end instead of my dogs. So, I, I hope you like this. So, let's start. So, we are going to start off with a u substitution. So, let's sum u equal to e to the x. So, that means that u is just e to the x dx. Okay, so what else can we conclude? Well, we can take e to the x on both sides. So, that also means that e to the u equals to e to the e to the x. And now we can plug all this information in. Now we've got a new integral from, so if we plug 0 into here, so u equals to e to the 0, so that's just 1. And if we plug 1 into here, so u equals to e to the first power. So our new limits are from 1 to e, and now we can plug all the other stuff in. So at first we got, so that's e to the e to the e to the x power, but e to the e to the x is just e to the u. So we can conclude that this is just e to the e to the u. So next thing, e to the e to the x is just this right here, so it's e to the u. And we know that e to the x times dx is just du. <laughs> so that's nice, that reduces pretty nicely. And now we are going to introduce a second substitution. So we are going to call it, because I'm a badass, I'm going to call it um, phi. So let phi equal to, um, well, we are going to let it equal to e to the u and we are going to do the same procedure as before. So that means that d phi, <laughs> I'm defying you, <laughs> mm. equals to e to the u du. And well, we can do the same thing as before. So e to the phi equals to e to the e to the u and now we can plug this in. So what we end up with is just the integral from. So if we plug 1 into here, that means that phi is just equal to e. And if we plug e into here, that's e to the e. So our new limits are from e to e to the e. <laughs> and well, e to the phi equals e to the e to the u, so we can plug this in, so that's e to the phi. And we also know that e to the u times du is just d phi. And then we are basically done because we know how to integrate this right here. So this is just e to the phi from e to e to the e. <laughs> And we can plug this in, so that's e to the e to the e minus e to the e. And then we are going to, no, we are not going to do anything because that's our value for this integral. I'm, it's an exponential function, it's irrational, so I can't shorten this expression right here. It is what it is, and if you like this video, please like and subscribe and leave a pray for Murray emoji in the comments. You can pray for my head right now, it's too warm in here. So I'm not wearing my hat, but if you still think that I'm cute, then say so in the comments. See you on the next video, guys. Have a flammable day.